Welcome to the Bible Quiz. Today, we're about to embark on an exciting biblical journey through the Old Testament. We've handpicked 25 of the hardest questions from the Book of One Kings to put your knowledge to the ultimate test. Are you ready to prove just how well you know this pivotal book of the Scriptures? But wait a minute. Before we delve into the quiz, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Your support helps us extend the reach of God's Word. We're eager to hear from you and be part of your Bible exploration. So, are you ready for this amazing journey through the Book of One Kings? Let's get started. Question 1. Near which sea did Solomon build his ships? A. Red Sea B. The Dead Sea C. Black Sea D. Mediterranean Sea You get 10 seconds. That's A. Red Sea. In 1 Kings chapter 9, verse 26, King Solomon built a fleet of ships at Ezion Geber, near Eloth, on the shore of the Red Sea in the land of Edom. These ships were used for trade and brought great wealth to Israel. This action demonstrated Solomon's strategic economic initiatives and his expansive influence through maritime trade. Question 2. To whom did the ravens bring food? A. Noah B. Elijah C. Elisha D. Moses You get 10 seconds. That's B, Elijah. During a period of drought and famine, God commanded ravens to bring food to the prophet Elijah. While he was hiding by the brook Cherith, the ravens brought him bread and meat every morning and evening. This miraculous provision highlighted God's care for his prophet and Elijah's dependence on divine sustenance in times of need. 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 4 to 6. Question 3. A prophet asked a fellow prophet to strike him, but he didn't. So, what was his fate? A. He was stoned. B. A lion killed him. C. He was exiled. D. The prophet struck him. You get 10 seconds. That's B, a lion killed him. In 1 Kings chapter 20, verses 35 to 36, a prophet asked his companion to strike him as a command from the Lord. When the man refused, the prophet declared that a lion would kill him for his disobedience. As the man left, a lion attacked and killed him. This incident underscores the seriousness of obeying God's commands. Question 4. Which king provided the wood used to build Solomon's temple? A. Saul B. Ahab C. David D. Hiram You get 10 seconds. That's D, Hiram. King Hiram of Tyre provided cedar and cypress wood for the construction of Solomon's temple, 1 Kings chapter 5, verses 8 to 10. Solomon made a treaty with Hiram, who was a skilled and generous ally. This cooperation facilitated the building of the magnificent temple in Jerusalem, symbolizing the collaborative efforts between nations to honor God. 
Question 5. Which king proposed to cut a living child in half to identify the true mother? A. Saul B. David C. Solomon D. Rehoboam You get 10 seconds. That's C, Solomon. In 1 Kings chapter 3, verses 24 to 27, King Solomon proposed to cut a living child in half to resolve a dispute between two women claiming to be the child's mother. Solomon's wise judgment not only saved the child, but also demonstrated his God-given wisdom in administering justice. Friendly Reminder Subscribe now to keep up with the latest updates and exciting content coming your way. Question 6. Who was Elijah's disciple? A. Elisha B. Jonah C. Isaiah D. Jeremiah You get 10 seconds. That's A, Elisha. Elijah found Elisha plowing a field and cast his cloak upon him, symbolizing the transfer of prophetic authority. Elisha then left his work to follow Elijah, becoming his devoted attendant and successor. 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 19 to 21. Question seven. How did the Lord appear to Elijah? A, in a fire. B. In a whirlwind. C. In an earthquake. D. In a gentle whisper. You get 10 seconds. That's D. In a gentle whisper. In 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 11 to 12, after fleeing from Queen Jezebel, Elijah experienced God's presence on Mount Horeb. This encounter taught Elijah that God's presence and guidance often come in quiet, subtle ways, emphasizing the importance of listening for God's voice amidst turmoil. Question 8. What young virgin kept the aged King David warm? A. Tamar B. Abishag C. Michal D. Bathsheba You get 10 seconds. That's B. Abishag Abishag, the Shunammite, is introduced in 1 Kings chapter 1, verses 1 to 4 as the young virgin chosen to keep the aged King David warm. Abishag's presence in David's court also played a role in the political intrigue following his death, highlighting the complexities of royal succession. Question 9. How many days did Elijah take to travel to Horeb where he neither ate nor drank? A. 20 B. 30 C. 40 D. 50 You get 10 seconds. That's C. 40 in 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 8, Elijah took 40 days and 40 nights to travel to Mount Horeb, sustained only by food and drink provided by an angel. Elijah's journey signifies spiritual endurance and the sustaining power of divine provision. Question 10. 
Where did Elijah kill the prophets of Baal? A. Mount Ebal B. Brook Kishon C. Land of Shinar D. Mount Carmel You get 10 seconds. That's B, Brook Kishon, 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 40. After the dramatic confrontation on Mount Carmel, Elijah ordered the capture and execution of the prophets of Baal at the Brook Kishon. This event followed the miraculous fire from heaven that consumed Elijah's offering. The killing of the false prophets marked a significant victory against idolatry and a call to return to worshiping the true God. Question 11. Which prophet sent his servant seven times to look for clouds? A. Elijah B. Isaiah C. Elisha D. Jeremiah You get 10 seconds. That's A, Elijah. The prophet Elijah sent his servant seven times to look toward the sea for a sign of rain after a prolonged drought. 1 Kings chapter 18 verses 43 to 44. On the seventh time, the servant saw a small cloud rising from the sea, heralding the end of the drought. This story illustrates Elijah's faith and perseverance in prayer as well as God's faithfulness in responding to persistent faith. Question 12. Who made two calves of gold? A. Aaron B. Solomon C. Jeroboam D. Rehoboam You get 10 seconds. That's C, Rehoboam. In 1 Kings chapter 12, verses 28 to 30, King Jeroboam made two golden calves and set them up in Bethel and Dan to prevent the Israelites from going to Jerusalem to worship. This act was a significant sin that brought divine judgment and strife upon his reign and the kingdom of Israel. Question 13. Who was the prophet who confronted King Ahab about his sins? A. Jeremiah B. Elisha C. Isaiah D. Elijah You get 10 seconds. That's D. Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 21, verses 17 to 24, the prophet Elijah confronted King Ahab about his sins, particularly regarding the unjust seizure of Naboth's vineyard and the ensuing murder. Elijah boldly declared God's judgment upon Ahab and his household, predicting their downfall. Question 14. What did Solomon ask for from the Lord? A. Wealth B. Wisdom C. Long life D. Victory over his enemies You get 10 seconds. That's B. Wisdom Specifically, he requested an understanding heart to judge your people that I may discern between good and evil. This selfless request pleased God who granted Solomon unparalleled wisdom as well as riches and honor. 
Solomon's choice underscores the value of seeking divine guidance and prioritizing the well-being of others over personal gain. 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 9. Question 15. Who was King David's commander? A. Joab B. Abner C. Amasa D. Benaiah You get 10 seconds. That's A. Joab as detailed in 1 Kings chapter 2, verses 5 to 6, Joab was a skilled and loyal yet often ruthless leader. Despite his loyalty, David instructed Solomon to deal with Joab's past betrayals, highlighting the complexities of Joab's character and his impact on David's reign. Question 16. Whom did the Queen of Sheba travel to see? A. Saul. B. David C. Elisha D. Solomon You get 10 seconds. That's D. Solomon in 1 Kings chapter 10, verses 1 to 13, the Queen of Sheba traveled to Jerusalem to visit King Solomon, intrigued by his famed wisdom and the prosperity of his kingdom. This encounter emphasizes Solomon's international reputation and the far-reaching influence of his wisdom and wealth. Question 17. What did Elijah do to the altar before calling on the Lord at Mount Carmel? A. Anointed it with oil. B. Covered it with gold. C. Poured water over it. D. Burned incense on it. You get 10 seconds. That sea poured water over it. In 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 33 to 35, Elijah rebuilt the altar, arranged the wood, cut the bull into pieces, and laid it on the wood. He dug a trench around the altar and poured water over the offering and wood three times. This act of faith set the stage for God's miraculous response as fire consumed the soaked altar, proving divine intervention. Question 18. Who succeeded Solomon as king of Israel? A. Asa B. Abijah C. Jeroboam D. Rehoboam You get 10 seconds. That's D, Rehoboam. In 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 43, Rehoboam, Solomon's son, succeeded him as king of Israel. However, Rehoboam's harsh policies led to a revolt, resulting in the division of the United Kingdom into the Northern Kingdom of Israel and the Southern Kingdom of Judah. This transition marks a significant turning point in Israel's history, showcasing the consequences of leadership decisions. Question 19. What did King Solomon build in addition to the temple? A. A palace. B. A market. C. A fortress. D. A monument. You get 10 seconds. That's A, a palace.
King Solomon built an elaborate palace complex, which included his royal residence, the Hall of Justice, and the House of the Forest of Lebanon. These constructions demonstrated Solomon's wealth, architectural ambition, and the splendor of his reign. The palace complex served as a symbol of his kingdom's prosperity and administrative capabilities. 1 Kings chapter 7, verses 1 to 12. Question 20. Who tried to usurp the throne before Solomon was made king? A. Joab. B. Adonijah. C. Amnon. D. Absalom. You get 10 seconds. That's B, Adonijah. In 1 Kings chapter 1, verses 5 to 10, Adonijah declared himself king and gathered supporters, including Joab and Abiathar the priest. However, Nathan the prophet and Bathsheba intervened, leading to Solomon's anointing as king. This event highlights the political intrigue and power struggles surrounding the royal succession. Stay with us until the end of the video to see how many Bible quiz questions you got right. Don't forget to note your score and share it with us in the comments section. Let's explore and learn more about the Bible with these fun and interesting questions. Question 21. Which king of Israel married Jezebel, leading Israel into idolatry? A. Ahab B. Omri C. Ahaziah D. Jehoram You get 10 seconds. That's A. Ahab Jezebel's influence led Ahab to promote the worship of Baal and Asherah, causing widespread idolatry in Israel. This alliance and subsequent religious corruption provoked God's anger and brought severe consequences upon Ahab's reign, highlighting the dangers of compromising faith for political alliances. 1 Kings chapter 16, verses 31 to 33. Question 22. Who orchestrated the death of Naboth to seize his vineyard? A. King Saul B. King Solomon C. Queen Jezebel D. Queen Athaliah You get 10 seconds. That's C, Queen Jezebel. In 1 Kings chapter 21, verses 1 to 16, Queen Jezebel orchestrated the death of Naboth to seize his vineyard for her husband, King Ahab. Jezebel falsely accused Naboth of blasphemy, leading to his execution. This act of ruthless manipulation and injustice brought severe divine judgment upon Ahab and his household. Question 23. Who had 700 wives and 300 concubines? A. Ahab B. Abraham C. Abimelech D. Solomon You get 10 seconds. That's D, Solomon. These marriages, often formed for political alliances, ultimately led Solomon astray, as his foreign wives influenced him to worship other gods. This deviation from faithfulness to God brought about his spiritual downfall and contributed to the division of his kingdom. 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 3. Question 24. 
What did the widow of Zarephath provide for Elijah during the drought? A. Oil and flour. B. Gold and silver. C. Bread and water. D. Clothes and shelter. You get 10 seconds. That's C, bread and water. In 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 10 to 16, the widow at Zarephath provided bread and water to Elijah during a drought, and a miracle occurred when her oil and flour never ran out, demonstrating her faithfulness and God's provision during difficult times. Question 25. How long did Solomon reign over Israel? A. 10 B 20 C 30 D 40 You get 10 seconds That's D 40 his reign is noted for its unprecedented peace, prosperity, and the construction of the temple in Jerusalem. However, Solomon's later years were marked by political and religious challenges due to his idolatry, which eventually led to the division of the kingdom after his death. His reign serves as a complex legacy of wisdom, wealth, and warning. 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 42. Bravo! What an incredible journey through the Book of One Kings, challenging your knowledge of the Old Testament. How did you fare? Whether you aced the quiz or discovered something new, always remember that the Word of God is a boundless source of wonder, just waiting for us to explore. Please give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Let's invite them to embark on this biblical adventure as well. And don't forget to click that subscribe button for more quizzes and profound biblical insights. We highly value your feedback, so please share your score, any questions, or suggestions for future quizzes in the comments. Thank you for joining us today, and may you be blessed on your spiritual journey. Thank you, and see you in the next video.